Most organisms are not naturally triploid because this condition causes sterility. Let's talk about why that's the case. We're using triploids as an example, but everything we say about triploids applies to organisms with any odd ploidy, monoploids, pentaploids, etc. Let's remind ourselves about how chromosomes move during meiosis in a diploid cell. The diploid cell shown here has three chromosomes in a set, x equals three. In meiosis one, the homologs pair and then segregate into different cells. In meiosis two, the chromatids separate, resulting in four haploid 1x gametes. In a triploid cell, one of each homolog will segregate into different cells, and the third homolog of the group will follow one of the other two randomly. So how likely is it that this triploid cell, where x equals 3, will generate balanced gametes, gametes that have only complete sets of chromosomes? For that to occur, all of the third homologs must segregate into the same cell. If they do, two 2x gametes and two 1x gametes are generated. How likely is this event? Well, the first lone homolog can go either up or down, and the probability of that happening is one. The second lone homolog must go whichever way the first one went, and the probability of that is one half. Same for the third lone homolog. So, in a triploid cell where x equals three, the overall chance of a meiosis resulting in balanced gametes is one fourth. You can see that the general formula for the probability that a meiosis in a triploid cell will produce balanced gametes is one over two to the x minus one. Most meioses will produce unbalanced gametes. This way, for example. Here, one of the lone homologs segregated into a different cell than the other two did, and the result is unbalanced gametes. When x equals three, the probability that a meiosis will produce unbalanced gametes is three-fourths. When x is greater than three, for example, when x equals four, that chance is seven-eighths. With only one out of eight gametes balanced, the organism is essentially sterile. You've come across triploid plants in your normal life, perhaps without knowing it. For example, you've likely eaten seedless watermelon. The large black seeds in watermelon are viable zygotes. In watermelons, x equals 11, and so triploids are sterile, and the result is watermelons without those pesky seeds. For fun, let's think about how likely it is to find a viable seed in a triploid watermelon. The frequency of balanced gametes, and they will be 2x or 1x, is 1 in 1,024. Viable seeds will be euploid, meaning that all of their chromosome sets are complete. Euploid zygotes will result from fertilizations that involve two balanced gametes, and so the viable seeds can be 4x, 3x, or 2x. Assuming that both the sperm and eggs come from triploid plants, the chance of such a fertilization is the product of the frequencies of female and male balanced gametes, which is less than one in a million. But wait, the chance of finding a viable seed in your triploid watermelon is actually a lot higher than this. The reason is that viable seeds can be produced not only by the union of balanced gametes, but also by fertilization events where both gametes are unbalanced but in complementary ways. For example, one gamete might be missing chromosome six, and another might have an extra chromosome six, etc. Although it's true that one meiosis would produce such complementary gametes, sperm and eggs must be the products of different meioses. The probability of each possible type of fertilization between complementary gametes must be added to one out of 1,048,576 in order to obtain the overall chance of a viable fertilization between gametes produced by triploid watermelons. How do we do that? It turns out that the answer is easy to figure out. We already determined that 1,024 different meiosis types are possible. The meiosis that results in balanced gametes is one of them. The other 1,023 meioses result in all the different kinds of unbalanced gametes. The same way that the chance of two balanced gametes finding each other is 1 in 2 to the 20th, the chance of two gametes that are unbalanced and complementary ways finding each other is also 1 in 2 to the 20th. So, the overall chance of either balanced or complementary unbalanced gametes finding each other is 1 in 2 to the 20th added to itself 1,024 times, or 1,024 times 1 in 1,048,576, which equals 1 in 1,024. So if your triploid watermelon is small with only a couple of hundred of those white inviable seeds, you probably won't find a large healthy black seed. Wasn't that fun?